Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Kangen Omega Chapter 186. This week's chapter is titled, Who Came Out on Top? Well, guess that means the fight ends this week. So, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd like to try and hit at least 100 likes on this week's reaction. And the next big goal for the channel is hitting 10,000 subscribers, so be sure to do both of those things if you haven't. Without any further ado, let's get right into this week's chapter. We got 26 pages this week. That's a lot. And it looks like we're starting off with a Rahito flashback. <clears throat> so, four years ago. Looks like Rahito's doing uh, Devil Lance training. Or at least he looks like he's trying to get the motions down. Four years have passed since Rahito sought to master martial arts. He'd made it this far with nothing but his innate power. But he came up against a wall that he could not scale with talent alone, Kuroki Gensai, and sought instruction. Stage one, obey your master's instructions and replicate them faithfully. Shoot. Stage two, incorporate other techniques and develop your art further. Ha. I don't think this is necessarily the implementation of other techniques. It's more so just kind of doing your own thing. Learning to not be bound by the book, you know? And finally, stage three. When your inborn power, the techniques you learned, and the insights gained from experience all connect together, you arrive at transcendence. Re. This is a nice little uh, transition of panels here with uh, everything connecting together, becoming clear. Oh. Saw sees him approach. He tries to throw a punch, and Rahito disappears. And then... <laughs> Kablam. Yeah, he gets hit in the face. Really fucking hard. What was that? Not even Rahito knows what that was. It just hit him, you know? The instinct just hit him right now. Oh, but Saw doesn't... He does not stop. He follows up with an elbow that's about to connect, uh, connect with Rahito's face. And, well, would you look at that? There is an uppercut connecting with, uh, Saw's chin. Interesting. Yeah, that's a, that's a fucking strong uppercut there. I, I landed it! Everything I've done is all fit together. Inconceivable. Simply inconceivable. His movements are clearly rougher than they were a moment ago. So why is he... Well done. You've arrived at Transcendence. See, Falcon, the reason they're rougher now is because Rihito is a rough fighter. His style of fighting is rough. A state you achieve when you thirst for more. Ooh, he parries Saw's straight, hits him in the chest. Saw's coughing up blood. His moves have changed. He's moving like he did when he fought you, Oma. Yeah, he's not as mechanical anymore. He's moving more naturally. But it looks like he's on a whole other level from back then. Yeah, no shit. I think my bad punch looks kind of weird. I think it, Rahito's arm looks too big. That's what it is. But he lands a, a right hook. Saw his face. And then... Looks like they both back off. Yeah, there you go. There's Razor's Edge. He's showing his wild side. Now this is the Rahito we all know and love. Or just are kind of ambivalent towards. But I like him. Just listen to that crowd. This is the Rahito we all came to see. Awesome. You're awesome, Rahito. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck. Sa knows he understands. <laughs> it's the only way you can beat him now. Call him awesome. He'll job instantly. Fuck. God damn, I fucking hate Sandrovich. Fucking terrible. I can't find a single opening. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm totally on fire. I'll beat you down head on. Well, I'm glad to see your spirit hasn't broken, so. My hot streak's not gonna last forever. I gotta take my shot. Oh, they both rush in. Rahito looks to land a razor's edge. Saw sees it coming. What will he do? Looks like he's going to parry. It's a feint. 
He wasn't going for Razor's Edge. He delivers a left straight. It hits Saw right in the face. Saw spins around, tries to elbow Rahito in the head. It looks like it maybe just grazed him. But he he ducks down and he like shoulder tackles Saw, who's in a very awkward position. So naturally he, he falls onto the ground. And then Rahito kicks Saw right in the face. That was a clean hit. Have the tides turned? This is so intense. He's not just rougher. His wild violence has integrated with his martial arts. Damn it. I gotta turn the tides. Oh, are you getting hit in the face with a kick or something right now, Saw? Your face looks to be getting squeezed. Mmm. That's a hefty blow. And there's a left high kick. Yeah, Saw's reeling from that one. Ooh, Hammer of Burma. I don't think it's gonna land. I mean, maybe it will, but that black panel with the white splash that looks like Dara just came on the page or something. Yeah, I don't think so. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, Rahito tried to hit it with his hand, I think. He tried to use a razor's edge on it. Huh, did that hit or did it miss? That headbutt was going for his head, but was blocked by his left arm. He struck his left hand in the way on impulse. But he won't be using that arm anytime. What is... Oh. He just got saw into a headlock, didn't he? Y yeah, that's a front choke. I gotta be a man and finish this. Saw... Your bones do not make you immune to asphyxiation, I'm afraid. Oh, he's off the ground! That's gotta hurt a fucking guillotine choke. Holy shit. If you ever see these in real life, like, holy fuck. <laughs> they are intense. Ah! But this isn't like Cosmo's front choke. He's got both legs in the air. Yeah! Saw's beating on him to try and break out, but I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, the vision's blurring. God damn. He's down. The winner of the first round of the semifinals, the first circle of hell, is the Superman Rahito. I'll take my loss on that one. That was deserved. Sorry, Sawpang. I can't stay a loser forever. Rahito advances to the finals. We have a winner. That's a great end panel there. Good. That was a good fight. I don't think it was as good as uh, Adam versus Ryuki, but that was, that was pretty solid. That was pretty good. I liked it. So, we have our first entrant to the finals. Now, it looks like Rahito's not really going to be able to lose, uh, to use his left arm. Uh, at least not, like, his hand. He could probably do, like, elbows and shit. Um, but... Yeah. Uh, so he's, he's taken damage. Rahito is now somewhat seriously damaged. We're going to have to see whatever condition the winner of Koga versus Ryuki is in. The deal with that fight is that, yeah, Koga has kind of a health advantage going in because he didn't really take any serious damage from fighting Leonardo. You know, he got choked out and shit, but like once you're not being choked out anymore, you know, you just need to breathe for a bit and then you're fine. I think the greatest extent of damage he may have taken was just maybe mildly fucking up his hand from trying to use Iron Breaker. Um, whereas Ryuki is pretty roughed up, but I don't know if he's going to let that stop him. Even then, that's going to affect things like his endurance and his reaction time. Um, but Ryuki has way more lethality than Koga does. Um, I wonder if Oma taught him indestructible so that he can, like, semi-resist Rakshasa's palm. Anyway, um, yeah, so, you know, Ryuki and Koga... I don't imagine any, like either of them getting out of this fight in particularly good condition. They're both going to get fucked up quite a bit. Basically, if almost any of Ryuki's strikes land against Koga, Koga's going to be seriously injured. 
And if Ryuki wins, well, he's going to be in even worse condition than he already is. So I think the setup for these finals are pretty solid. I think they're pretty good. Uh, so hopefully the final fight of this tournament is going to be really good. But, you know, we shouldn't get uh, distracted by the finale and uh, forget the next act because we do have Koga versus Ryuki coming up next. Since these guys are basically both the main characters that have plot armor, amongst other things, I imagine those will cancel each other out. If I had to bet, I still think Koga's going to win because I don't want this fucking Ryuki plotline to go on any longer. I'm sick of it, and I'm sick of him. I want Koga to beat his ass. I want him to fucking beat some sense into him. So hopefully that'll happen. But with that, that's all for this week's reaction. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Kangen Omega chapter reactions every week that we get a new chapter. If you enjoy discussing Kangen Omega with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce on this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.